Hi friends. Today we are going to discuss about the synthesis of one antipsychotic drug, chlorpromazine. Okay, so the static material used for the synthesis of chlorpromazine is 2-bromobenzene thiol So this is 2-bromobenzene thiol reacted with 2,5 dinitro to come up fine dichloro nitrobenzene. Dichloro nitrobenzene. Okay. So when you react 2 bromobenzene thiol with 2, 5 dichloro nitrobenzene, you know these halogens are very good leaving groups. They can leave the reaction with a negative charge due to the electronegativity difference between the carbon atom and chlorine. So here the carbon atom will get electron deficiency as soon as the chlorine leaves the structure. At the same time, here hydrogen is least electronegative element or atom. So hydrogen gets positive charge. So here the positive charge hydrogen and negatively charged chlorine combines together to remove HCl as a byproduct. So what happens then? So this sulfur can form a new bond with the carbon atom of this 2,5 dichloro nitrobenzene ring. Okay, so you can write this structure in this way the aromatic ring system, you'll be having the same bromine followed by sulfur. And as sulfur is having the lone pair of electrons, so when the lone pair of electrons are transferred, this uh, to this electron deficient carbon, you can form a new sigma bond like this. Okay. So now the positive charge on the carbon is nullified. And here you can mention chlorine, and this is nitro, right? So this is one important uh, intermediate compound you are going to get when you react to bromobenzene thiol with 2,5 dichloro nitrobenzene by removing HCl as a byproduct. So this intermediate compound, I'm subjecting it for catalytic reduction. So reduction is nothing but removal of oxygen and addition of hydrogen atoms. So here, this nitro group will undergo a reduction process to convert into corresponding amines. So you can write the aromatic ring structure followed by the sulfur, which is fused with another aromatic ring with chlorine atom here, bromine. And since you are subjecting this intermediate compound for catalytic reduction, nitro compound will be converted into amines, NH2. Okay, so this is amine. Okay, so the next step is nothing but your cyclization. So the previous structure is acyclic. So we are going to convert this acyclic structure into a cyclic form. So here what happens? So nitrogen will have one lone pair of electron. So again, there is a halogen here. So halogens are very good leaving groups. So they can leave the reaction by breaking the bond between the carbon atom and bromine due to 
the electronegativity difference. Okay, so the electrons will be migrated towards bromine. It gets negative charge. And here, the carbon atom will get a positive charge. That means electron deficient. Okay, now when you compare the electronegativity of nitrogen and hydrogen, definitely hydrogen will have least electronegativity. You can designate by a positive charge. Now what happens? This positively charged hydrogen and negatively charged bromine combines together to liberate hydrogen bromide. HBr is liberated as a byproduct. Okay, now what happens? Since you are having a positive charge on the carbon atom, nitrogen will donate the extra lone pair of electrons towards the positively charged carbon. Therefore, what happens? You can form a new bond between the nitrogen as well as the carbon atom of the aromatic ring so that you will get a proper ring structure Okay, like this. You see the structure, you can understand. So the same aromatic ring system here, sulfur fused with another aromatic ring. Okay, chlorine atom. And here you're going to get nitrogen and one hydrogen. Okay, so this is called as two chlorophenothiazine. Okay, now this 2-chlorophenothiazine, I'm going to react with another compound, ClCH2 taken thrice, NCH3 taken twice. This is called as 3-chloropropyl dimethylamine. Okay, so after getting 2-chlorophenothiazine, I'm going to react with Three chloropropyl dimethyl amine to get the final compound that is chlorpromazine. Okay, so here what happens once again? So here nitrogen definitely it will have one lone pair of electron, and hydrogen is least electronegative atom, so you can designate with a positive charge. And here you are having a halogen chlorine. So this chlorine can leave the reaction with negative charge and this carbon will get positive. So what happens here when you break the bond between the nitrogen and hydrogen atom, the sigma electrons present in this bond will slowly migrate towards nitrogen atom. So it gets one extra lone pair here. So this extra lone pair of electron, it will donate for this positively charged carbon. Okay, therefore, what happens? This nitrogen atom will form a new bond with this carbon atom, like this. So you're going to get, again, the aromatic ring, sulfur, okay? And here, nitrogen. So again, aromatic ring, chlorine. And here you can write, CH2 taken thrice, N CH3 taken twice. So this structure you can call it as chlorpromazine. You know, chlorpromazine is majorly used as an antipsychotic drug. So majorly it is prescribed for uh, mental illness like schizophrenia. Uh, where you can characterize this schizophrenia by hallucinations, delusions, okay, etc. So it is a very important synthesis, chlorpromazine, a major tranquilizer or neuroleptic drug. Thank you.